Pokemon Legends Arceus tells the story of how the Sinnoh region from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl was founded, but what the game doesn't tell you directly is the backstory of Sinnoh's founders. The modern Sinnoh region was ultimately founded by the people of Jubilife Village, who are led by the Galaxy Expedition Team and its leader, Commander Kamado. But Commander Kamado has a dark past of his own, that not only reveals who the people of Jubilife Village are and where they come from, but also the extremely tragic backstory of Professor Rowan's ancestor. So the only direct specification that the game gives us as to Commander Kamado's backstory comes from Benny, the cook that supplies you with the delicious potato mochi that you eat throughout the game. Near the end of the main story, Benny tells you that before coming to Hisui, he and Kamado's hometown was destroyed and burned to the ground by raging Pokemon, which is why they came to Hisui to start a new life. And it's why Kamado is so protective of his new village, especially when it comes to Pokemon. There is a lot more to this story, though, than meets the eye, because on Commodo's desk back at the Galaxy Team headquarters, we can see Commodo pictured with a woman who seems to be his wife, possibly even on their wedding day, judging by their attire. Commodo doesn't have a wife or any kind of significant companion, however, in the game, which is why it can reasonably be assumed that during this siege on his hometown that Benny tells us about, Commodo's wife was killed by a Pokemon, which would explain his actions and behavior in the game even more. Where did Commodo and the rest of the people from Jubilife Village come from, though? Where was their hometown that Benny speaks of? Well, it isn't exactly the case that everyone in Jubilife Village came from the same place, as there are indeed people from multiple regions that inhabit the settlement. However, Professor Laventon tells you at the beginning of the game that Jubilife Village was founded two years ago, meaning it's been around long enough for other people to migrate to it. What we ultimately want to know, though, is where the original founders of Jubilife Village came from, which includes at least Commander Kamado and Benny, as well as some of the other residents of the village and members of the Galaxy team. If you keep this in mind while playing the game, it actually becomes pretty evident that the founders of Jubilife Village, and therefore the original settlers of the modern Sinnoh region as a whole, were actually people from the Galar region. The most obvious evidence of this comes from Professor Laventon, who is one of the leading members of the Galaxy team and is pretty clearly Hop and Leon's ancestor from Pokemon Sword and Shield. He also implies extremely heavily in his dialogue and in his writing in the Pokedex that he is in fact from Galar. So that is a huge point in favor of this idea since Professor Laventon would have also been one of the original founders of the village. This tie to Galar isn't just limited to Laventon, however, because once you start talking to residents of the village and carrying out their various requests, many of them also heavily imply that they came to Hisui from the Galar region as well, to the point where I would say a solid majority of residents who actually reveal where they're from are from Galar. Even the commander himself, the man who led the settling of Sinnoh as we know it, is pretty much confirmed to be from Galar when he dons his suit of armor later on in the game and confirms that it is of traditional Galarian origin. Now, it could be said that he could just have some Galarian armor without actually being from Galar itself, but with everyone else that is definitively from this region and the fact that he has Galarian armor at all, 
pretty much seals the deal that Komodo is also from Galar as well, which also just makes sense considering Galar was the region that was introduced in the generation in which Legends Arceus released, so you would naturally expect a little bit of crossover to be there anyway. With Commodo being from Galar, the story that Benny tells us of his and Commodo's hometown being destroyed by raging Pokemon actually makes even more sense, as it lines up with the Dynamax Pokemon of the Galar region, who are known to go on very similar rampages from time to time. So the history of the Sinnoh region is the history of Commander Kamado himself. Once living in Galar along with his wife, Benny, Professor Laventon, and others, his home was one day destroyed by raging Pokemon, likely Dynamax Pokemon, which ultimately resulted in the death of his wife. With nothing left standing after the onslaught was finished, Komodo and his people became refugees and left Galar looking for a safer place to live. They eventually settled in Hisui two years before the events of Legends Arceus, and founded Jubilife Village as a town with high walls on every side, to protect them from the savage Pokemon that had destroyed their home in the past. That is an incredibly sad and tragic backstory, not just for Komodo, but for all of the original residents of Jubilife Village. Knowing that they originally immigrated from Galar is extremely interesting, however, and it made me wonder if we could possibly pin down what town in Galar Komodo, Benny, Laventon, and the rest of these people came from specifically. And after some discussion with my good friend Birdkeeper Toby, it turns out we can. In your adventures in the Galar region in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you might recall coming across Route 8. This route actually sticks out as particularly memorable because it has you wandering through a bunch of decaying ruins, ones that appear to have originally made up a civilization or town of some kind. Sword and Shield do not provide any detail whatsoever on what these ruins are supposed to be, but given all of the aforementioned evidence, it seems very likely that these ruins are the remains of the town that Commander Kamado once called home hundreds of years ago before it was burned to the ground by Dynamax Pokemon. This route is even located right next to the eastern coast of the Galar region, explaining why Kamado and his townspeople chose to take to the water when escaping the raging Dynamax Pokemon. And if you needed any further evidence of this connection, Galar's Route 8 is also where you can find the Pixie Plate, aka the fairy type Arceus Plate and it is the only Arceus plate that can be found in Pokemon Sword and Shield, tying this route to the people of Hisui even more. It's even possible that this is why the Pixie Plate can be found here in the first place, which is something that a lot of people were wondering about when Sword and Shield first released, because it was possibly ultimately meant to be a bit of foreshadowing of what was to come, not only in terms of Legends Arceus as a game, but also in terms of this location's significance to that game as well. The story of Sinnoh's founding is an extremely interesting one, because it involves people from Galar fleeing their homeland after their lives were destroyed, likely by Dynamax Pokemon, in search of a safer, better life. Now that you mention it though, and hey Pokemon Masters, Bucky Potobi here, I'm just hijacking the end of Hoops' video. I've been listening to Hoops talk about this, the origins of Jubilife Village and, and the Sinnoh region as a whole, and one character that hasn't really come up is Volo. Volo's origins are not part of the Galaxy Expedition team or as part of Jubilife Village, no no. I believe that Volo's origins lie in the distant past, but Volo is a time traveler from the original era of Sinnoh. 
that is something that we cover over on my channel so click the links on the end screen to check that out and uh, of course so high Pokemon Masters.